Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to enable AMD's FSR3 frame generation tech for absolutely free in two of my favorite games, The Witcher 3 and Spider-Man. Running on Steam Deck having SteamOS, I'll be using a program called DLSS Enabler. We'll be using its beta build, version 800B15. You can download it from GitHub's website, I'll give its link in the description of the video. Just need to click on this view link, exe file. At the time of recording this video, the current stable version of DLSS enabler available on Nexus Mods website is 7.5.0. Compared to that build, this beta build completely automates the setup process. On Linux system, we are not required to manually execute the disable NVIDIA signature checks registry file. Don't even need to perform the DLSS version 3.7 workaround. OptiScaler mod has been updated to version 0.6. In the DLSS enabler installer, we have the option to select either version 0.4 or version 0.6 of OptiScaler mod. I have already explained the functioning of DLSS enabler. It uses Nucum 9's DLSS G2 FSR3 mod in order to enable frame generation. In this video, I will be covering its setup process for Witcher 3 and Spider-Man. I will kick things off with the former. First, I will show you the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler, I on the Steam version of Witcher 3, you just select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files, I have installed the game on an SD card, Amazon Basics, A2 rated speed, this is the games installed directory, but you should not be installing DLSS enabler here, just open bin folder, then open x64 underscore dx12 folder, this is the final directory where you need to install DLSS enabler, now just run Proton Tricks. You can download this application for absolutely free from Discover Store. Hey, look for Witcher 3, there it is, double click. Wait for the next window to pop up, it can take up to 5 to 6 seconds. There it is, check the circle next to select the default find bricks. OK. Now check the circle next to Run Explorer, click on OK. New window will pop up. Now you just need to navigate to the directory where DLSS enabler setup file is present. In my case, it's the downloads directory. I'll open my computer, Z drive, home folder, deck folder, downloads folder, scroll down a bit, look for the setup file, there it is, version 800b15 build, double click, installer will pop up, I accept, next, next, specify the games directory, just click on browse, I'll open D drive, SD card directory, in my case, open steam apps folder, common folder, look for Witcher 3 folder there it is then open bin folder then open x64 underscore dx12 folder this is the final directory ok then click on next select the first option install DLSS enabled DLL module as a version dot DLL file then check this square enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs Steam Deck has an AMD based GPU OptiScaler mod version 0.6 selected next install wait for the process to complete uncheck this box finish close these windows now we just need to add launch option to the game select the game in your same library then click on the settings cog here then click on properties under launch options just add this line of text, I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. I'm using this compatibility layer for Witcher 3, G Proton version 9-7. That's it, we are ready to run the game. I'll switch to SteamOS gaming mode. Connected my Cosmic Bytes Stellaris gamepad to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Performance time. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Overclocked its display from 60 to 70 Hz. Frame rate limit and refresh rate set to 70. That's it. Graphic setting. I'll use the medium preset. You can see we have access to DLSS. It's basically XCSS version 1.3 upscaler using its balance preset. From here, I have disabled blur and motion blur. Everything set to medium. Display settings 800p resolution. If you set the resolution to 720p, game's interface will flicker. This happened on ROG LI. I had to restrict the game with this mod installed. So I had to switch the resolution to Full HD in order to stop the flickering. 800p is fine, no flickering. I'll disable frame generation for the time being. 
unlimited FPS. Here first I'll run the game without frame generation. Save. I'm at the crook pack pop. Here's Karen. FPS here is around 40. We'll be fighting against some drowners. Hitting the GP bottleneck. Can observe the sluggishness. Frame generation will try to double the FPS. Should be getting an FPS close to 70. I'll just enable it now. Display settings, frame generation on. Zoom the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness, and you can see FPS increased to around 65. Check out the input response. Swinging my sword. Input delay is manageable. Looking for some drowners. There they are. Yeah, FPS is staying around 60. Good performance on Steam Deck. Slice the creature. We are at the entrance of Novigrad. I'll explore the area on horseback. FPS is around 60. Many non playable characters here. Populated. Yeah, FPS is staying around 60. DLSS enabler works very nicely in this skin. Even on Steam Deck. Almost ran over that guy. Made it to the market. Dismount here. Fish market. Now I'll be testing the next skin. I'll show you Spider-Man's game directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. I own the Steam version of this game. Select the game in your Steam library, right click manage, then click on browse local files. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. There's the game's exe file. I've installed the game on an SD card. It's the same process as before. Just run Proton Tricks. Select Spider-Man, then click on OK. This window will pop up. Check this option, select the default wine bricks, click on OK. Then check this option, run explorer, click on ok. Need to navigate to a directory where DLSS enabler setup file is present. Download directory in my case, open my computer, open Z drive, open home folder, open deck folder, then open downloads folder. Look for DLSS enabler setup file, there it is, version 800 B15 build, double click. Installer will pop up, check this option, I accept the term, next, next. Here we need to specify the games directory, click on browse, D drive in my case, SD card directory, open steam apps folder, open common folder, open the games folder, spider-man remastered, that's it, this is the final directory, next, select the second option, install DLSS enabler DLL module as a winmm.dll file, Check this box, enable support for AMD and Intel GPU, OptiScaler version 0.6, next, install, process complete, uncheck this box, finish, need to add a launch option to the game, just open Steam, select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, then click on properties. Under launch option, just add this line of text, I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Using this Proton compatibility layer for Spider-Man, G Proton version 
we are ready to run the game i'll just switch to steam os gaming mode launch the game this message will pop up no install graphics card ignore it tap on ok performance tab only level set to 2 frame rate and refresh rate set to 70 that's it in game settings 800p resolution display mode set to full screen vsync disabled we have access to DLSS frame generation. I have disabled it for the time being. Upscaler set to DLSS. It's basically XCSS version 1.3 using its quality preset. Using the medium preset. From here, I have disabled motion blur. Strength set to nil. Run the game. There's Spider Man. Here, FPS is around 40 swinging around the city crowded area perfect for testing 38 to 42 fps thirty five fps for a second I'll never frame generation half an DLSS frame generation enabled apply the setting resume the game yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 60, 60 to 70. Animation is looking so smooth. Mod is definitely working. Not observing any graphical artifacts around Spidey's character model. Games interface is not flickering as well. Perfect. Not sure what Spider Man was trying to do there. <laughs> Kill the citizens swinging around the city. 60 to 70 FPS. And this is the way to play this game. Installing DLSS enabler on Steam Deck. It's absolutely free. Don't need to pay anything. That's it with the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.